Hey Stoner, CEO of Biggin and Scott. We're here again with Russell Cambridge from the Richmond office for Office of the Month, June. Congratulations, Russell. Uh, thank you. I think it was our best month for the year too, yeah, wasn't it? It was, it was a fantastic. Yeah. Pretty good, yeah. yeah. A lot of exciting stuff going on at Richmond. Tell me about the most exciting thing that's happening at the you moment. You wouldn't be referring to the block, would you, Paul? <laughs> uh, open for inspections, 25,000 people rock up. It's chaos. 22 hours we were down there over the weekend. And they're all buyers. All of them, every one of them, and they get yeah. shitty if you don't take them seriously. <laughs> As you know, I was there at 6am or whatever, helping to set up, and um, there would have been 500 people in that queue when I left, so... The queue was building at 3pm the day before, and uh, look, some funny stories, but, you know, one lady came back, uh, she was there at the very end of day one and she was telling me that she's not going to muck around tomorrow She's going to get there at 4 a.m. <laughs> How's that not mucking just around? To through, just to get through, just to get through so Putting the celebrity aside, how, how have you been able to work through all of that and actually find the right buyers for the block? It's, uh, we have had some private inspections before and after we've got I'm going there from here after this and it, people have to register uh, we've got some questions that we ask to make sure that they're qualified before we get them through I think we've probably had uh, 30 to 50 between ourselves and Port Melbourne office buyers through the property and we've narrowed it down to maybe five interested but two three serious yeah. ones right. but we've got a process to qualify these buyers before we let them into the block considering the first year we were involved and we were so concerned about giving things away and then we've quickly realized that you couldn't give enough away <laughs> they just <laughs> want everything for free um the are people uh, sort of hesitant to be involved because it is the block and there is so much uh, publicity around it? Funny you should say that, yes, look, we've got uh, a number of advocates lined up to represent buyers on their request, and I think we've appointed two so far. Yeah. We're obviously going to use Mr Valentic from uh, Advantage uh, for one of the buyers, and maybe we've got a couple of others lined up as well. Um, but yeah, look, people do want to be uh, behind the scenes, Not, they don't want to be seen on the TV. In fact, funnily enough, some of their best inquiry have no idea that they're talking about a TV show. One person never even heard of the show. So, so well, they've got to be qualified in that in itself. Well, look, at the end of the day, they're, they're a good product. And, uh, you know, having been up there the other day, three bedrooms, four bathrooms, it's, they're I'm pretty glad good. You, glad you mentioned that because obviously people, the perception is that it's uh, poor quality and it's been done by the, the uh, contestants. The quality in there is surprisingly good. The views are amazing. And, you know, it's a, a tower block of six apartments, all uh, one whole floor. It's actually not a bad project to be buying into. And we've yeah. done some analysis with an accountant or two. Uh, it stacks up as an investment as well. So it's yeah. going to be a good buy, particularly now that the uh, producers have got it right, the right formula, and they'll have low reserves to make sure that these things sell on the day. Well, it's just no use them going through it all if they're not going to sell on the day. It's, it's the show. Exactly, and they learned their lesson, of course, in Richmond. Yeah, and everyone's doing, they've done their job, you're going to do your job, and um, it's important that they sell. Look, exactly right, but Paul, um, the thing that I've got out of being on the block this time is how much uh, exposure we've been able to give to Heart Kids. As you well know, and with your permission, we we sort of are hiding behind Heart Kids in this. It's yeah. Heart Kids and Biggin and Scott yeah. uh, representing Maddie and Jared on level four, and we keep pushing their name forward. We gave our marquee to Heart Kids. We took the contestants down to the Royal Children's Hospital yeah. for an hour and a half the other day with Heart Kids. All our marketing is with Heart Kids. It's been the best exposure for Heart Kids, and as Terry uh, contacted you and myself later. How wrapped are they with what we've been able to give them? I think it's a, it's a, we feel good about it. You, you know, you and I feel very good about it. And to help uh, to help heart kids, whether it's just with uh, being acknowledged and, and noticed out there, or um, you know, to raise some money, it's uh, it's a, it's a feel good thing. But uh, good luck with selling it. I think it'll be very exciting on the twenty seventh. Yep, televised on the twenty eighth, but. Uh, yeah, a few nerves when I think about it. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Back to um, the Richmond office and, and your yeah. results. Uh, the, the, I know most of the officers ask me, the cons consistency. How, how do you guys manage to say, stay so consistent? Well, I've got to say, I think the most important thing is we meet regularly to have our own in-house training to make sure 
that people were following our procedures and our uh, systems that we want in the sales department and also the training from Josh Fegan. It's been fantastic and for the guys to consistently want to go yeah. to see Josh because he's so enlightening and he's so enthusiastic, well, he must be doing something, right? He's certainly not good looking, so... <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're not watching, Josh. <laughs> Uh, look, it's um, you know, it, it's a, it's a credit to you guys that you do stay so consistent, and you, you keep it all modern and up to date. Your meetings are short, and you know you stick to what the platform is, and there's no moving outside that. So um, it's, it's a lesson for everyone to learn. Stable team. I think the guys have recognised that staying in one place. Sure, it might take a year to to uh, get established, but once you're established. I mean, look at Jade in our office. He's been doing it for a, a year, year and a half now, and starting to make headways. You know, she's listing properties, selling properties, having a good run. Sam Davenport, uh, we went on five valuations last week, Sam and I. We got four. Alan Cove, I ran into him this morning. He sold five last week. He's having a great run. He's, uh, he was tearing his hair out, what he's got about a week or two ago, and then crash bang wallet, five deals, and uh, he's back to his own confident self again. Not a bad motivator, is it? No, it's good. Um, winter, uh, what, what, what are you doing in winter to prepare yourself for, for spring? Obviously lots of prospecting, lots of mail outs um, and, you know, making sure that uh, we've got everything sold that we have on our books at the moment yeah. and that, uh, look, I can feel the momentum building already. It's going to be a good, uh, good spring, I think, this year. So looking forward to, you know, getting out there and meeting some more buyers. And, of course, the best thing, I think, for finding these uh, vendors is making sure the open for inspections are handled properly. Yeah. Yeah, be the friendliest, be the most welcoming, get all their details, phone numbers, suburbs, uh, email addresses, and well, just I keep following them up. I spoke to Ed earlier today about um, you know, what, what he's, he and his team are doing to get back to all of those buyers, because you're obviously meeting a lot of people, and you, know, you just can't do it unless you stick with the plan. Can I just tell you, I haven't seen Ed all week. That's how busy he is. We've crossed paths, uh, we've spoken a couple of times on the phone, I've seen him in the traffic, yeah. I haven't seen him in the office, he's out there meeting people. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely. Your own training, Russell, you, you know, you, you love training yourself and you love doing, you know, keeping up to date with things, what are you working on? Well, look, can I tell you right at this moment, I know it's so back, going back to the block, but Phil DeFagley is great help for me and uh, we just talk things over, we'll meet two or three times before we get on to the show to do the actual auction. Phil's got some great tips, great ideas, and uh, between us, hopefully, we can have a win again. Yeah. Thank you, Russell. Congratulations. Might see you again next month. Look forward to it. Cheers, mate.